People in the Tennessee Valley spent the day honoring and reflecting about the famous Reverend Billy Graham who passed away this morning. News 12's Robin Estabrook joins us now live in the studio to explain how he left a lasting impression in our area. Reverend Graham has ties to Cleveland and is remembered in Chattanooga for his crusade here in 1953. With bows, flowers, and a drape covering the Billy Graham Avenue sign, Cleveland is honoring the evangelist. Reverend Graham started his education at what was once Bob Jones College and is now Lee University. We named 15th Street, which runs, which runs through the cap campus, as Billy Graham Avenue. It actually dead ends to the dormitory where he lived, which is Medlin Hall. The city had a ceremony in 2012 when the street was renamed. His daughter Gigi was here, and we had a great dedication. Mayor Tom Rowland, pastors, and others gathered to remember Reverend Graham. The voice of Billy Graham has probably been one that has been most admired, most, most appreciated. Historians say Reverend Graham is known for the crusade of 1953 in Chattanooga. It was the first major evangelical crusade in the South that was desegregated. When he arrived here and began to prepare for it that night as he came out to actually go on stage, he noticed that some of the guards and things were putting the ropes back up. And he went over and very quietly, as only probably Bill, Billy Graham could, very graciously said, if the ropes go up, I come down. Late Chattanooga radio and TV legend Luther Massengill once gave Reverend Graham a ride to a hotel. And I said, Mr. Graham, I'm, I'm going to be going down that way in just a few minutes. He, I said, but do you mind riding in a Model T Ford? And he said, I'd love it. <laughs> Mayor Rowland is saddened by Reverend Graham's death and remembering all the good he did. Great loss to the world, but it's a gain in heaven. Graham was 99 when he died. Live in the studio, Robin Esbrook, News 12 Now.